Can you define leadership in one word in the great English lexicon, as I always say to our guests? I would say if it's one word, it's trust. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be a leader if you don't have followers, mm -hmm. and you're not going to have followers if they don't think you're worthy of trust. That's a good point. If someone were to ask you, what is your single most positive contribution you've made to humanity, what might that be? That's a big, what I call mouthful kind of question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it would probably... It would have to be my work at Maryhurst mm -hmm. um, to be a part of making a positive difference in the lives of, you know, children that have been significantly abused, mm -hmm. uh, no fault of their own, and to to really be a part of that um, mm -hmm. has been a gift and and probably what I would think mm -hmm. would be my gift to humanity. Now I want to take a moment and just kind of walk through the the cycle or process. So. An individual who's been abused, I guess, child abuse or sexual abuse or both, they come to you and then what happens, roughly? They're all wards of the state okay. because they've been taken from their families. Um, mm -hmm. So the state actually places them with us um, because of who we serve and our reputation with the most marginal children. Mm -hmm. uh, we're taking kids from the psychiatric hospitals that mm. the abuse has just caught, the trauma from the abuse has just been so significant. Mm -hmm. So we, on our main campus program, uh, we have uh, you know a program hopefully for success okay. where we can help them feel safe and begin that treatment and help. Uh, we do trauma-informed care, which is mm -hmm. understanding that some of their behaviors is coming from the trauma that they've experienced because of the abuse. Right. And then we, we've created step-down programs and a continuum of care for them throughout the years. Mm -hmm. um, and then we want them to go back to family, if that's possible, or, or to another family. With your over four decades of experience, you know, with Mary Hurst, roughly how many children or individuals have you helped? Do you have even a number, mm -hmm. roughly? Uh, I, mean, I, I can only imagine. Yeah, I really haven't counted. You know, we serve no. about um, 300 children a year in mm -hmm. all of our programs. Wow. So I was a therapist uh, the first part of my career and mm -hmm. then moved into administration, um, but I really, hundreds, mm -hmm. probably a thousand. Yeah, I would think so, I would think so. Mm -hmm.